The Defense Science and Technology Group, abbreviated as DST Group or DST, is part of the Australian Department of Defence dedicated to providing science and technology support for Australia's defence and national security needs. It is Australia's second largest government-funded science organisation after the CSIRO. The agency's name was changed from Defence Science and Technology Organisation (DSTO) to Defence Science and Technology Group on the 1st of July 2015. To achieve its mission, DST provides scientific and technical support to current defence operations, investigates future technologies for defence and national security applications, advises on the purchase and smart use of defence equipment, develops new defence capabilities, and enhances existing systems by improving performance and safety and reducing the cost of owning defense assets. The Chief Defense Scientist leads DST. The position is supported by an independent advisory board with representatives from defense, industry, academia and the science community. DST has an annual budget of approximately $440 million and employs over 2,500 staff, predominantly scientists, engineers, IT specialists and technicians. DST has establishments in all Australian states and the Australian Capital Territory with posted representatives in Washington, London and Tokyo. DST collaborates with science and technology organisations around the world to strengthen its technology base and works closely with Australian industry and universities to enhance defence capability. International engagement allows DST to explore potential technological opportunities at significantly less cost and provides access to overseas capabilities otherwise not available to the ADF. DST is a member of the Technical Cooperation Program TTCP with the United States, United Kingdom, Canada and New Zealand. It also has bilateral defence science agreements with USA, UK, France, Sweden, Netherlands, Norway and Singapore. In February 2012, DST was given the whole of government responsibility to coordinate research and development for Australia's national security. Topic history A new research body, called Defence Science and Technology Organisation DSTO, was created in 1974 by amalgamating the Australian Defence Scientific Service with the science branch of the Department of Defence. Over the next 20 years various other Australian defence laboratories were integrated with DSTO, including what remained of the weapons research establishment, responsible for the Woomera test range. 1907 Defence science begins in Australia. 1910 The start of explosives research at a guardhouse called the Chemical Advisors Laboratory at Victoria Barracks, Melbourne. 1911 Explosives Ordnance Factory established at Maribyrnong. 1912 Small Arms Factory established at Lithgow. 1921 Munitions Supply Board created within Department of Defence. 1922 Chemical Advisors Laboratory became the Munitions Supply Laboratories MSL of the Munitions Supply Board. 1929 Proof Range established at Port Wakefield. 1939 Aeronautical and Engine Research Test Laboratory established at Fisherman's Bend as part of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR Division of Aeronautics. 1940 Department of Munitions established. Salisbury Explosives Factory and Finsbury Munitions Factory built within rural environs of Adelaide. 1946 Munitions Supply Laboratories MSL established at Finsbury, South Australia later known as Woodville North when the suburb name was changed, as a branch of MSL at Maribyrnong. 1946 Anglo-Australian Joint Project established at Woomera, with aviation support at RAAF Base Malala, 1947 Long Range Weapons Establishment LRWE formed in Salisbury, South Australia to support the Guided Weapons Facility at Woomera. 1948 Munitions Supply Laboratories changes its name to Defence Research Laboratories. 1949 Fisherman's Bend Laboratory transferred from CSIR Council for Scientific and Industrial Research to the Department of Supply and Development, renamed Aeronautical Research Laboratories ARL. 
Australian Defence Scientific Service established, incorporating LRWE and the Defence Research Laboratories. 1949 Laboratory established in Alexandria, NSW as part of Defence Research Laboratories to undertake research in physical metallurgy and metallurgical chemistry areas. 1949 Three new laboratories formed in Salisbury, High Speed Aerodynamics Laboratory, Propulsion Research Laboratory and the Electronics Research Laboratory, collectively known as the Chemistry and Physics Research Laboratory. 1953 Defense Research Laboratories changes its name to Defense Standards Laboratories. 1955 LRWE and all the Salisbury Laboratories amalgamated to form the Weapons Research Establishment WRE. RAAF Base Edinburgh established near Salisbury, superseding Malala. 1956 The Royal Australian Navy ran Experimental Laboratory established. 1957 Black Box Flight Recorder invented by Dr. David Warren, originally named the ARL Flight Memory Unit. Its descendants are now installed in large airline aircraft and most military aircraft. 1958 – The Army Food Research Laboratories were formally established at Scottsdale, Tasmania under the Quartermaster General Branch, Army Headquarters. The laboratory's role included research and development of foods for the three services. Laboratories renamed Defense Food Research Establishment Vegetable Dehydration Division in 1958. 1960 – The Defense Food Research Establishment Vegetable Dehydration Division renamed the Army Food Science Establishment. 1961 – The Army Food Science Establishment renamed the Army Food Research Station. 1962 Joint Tropical Research Unit JTRU, established in Innisfail, Queensland and operated jointly with the British Ministry of Defence. 1967 Built and launched WRESAT, Australia's first artificial satellite. 1969 RAN Experimental Laboratory changes name to RAN Research Laboratory RANRL. 1971 – The Army Food Science Establishment renamed the Armed Forces Food Science Establishment. 1972 – ARL transferred to the Department of Manufacturing Industry. 1974 – As a result of defense restructuring, the Defense Science and Technology Organization DSTO, is created by integrating the Australian Defense Scientific Service, the in-house R&D units of the Armed Services and the Science Branch of the Department of Defense. Defense Standards Laboratories becomes the Materials Research Laboratories MRL. 1975 Official transfer of all defense R&D activities to DSTO in the Department of Defense. The Armed Forces Food Science Establishment AFFSE, became part of the Service Laboratories and Trials SLT, Division of DSTO. 1977 Joint Tropical Trials and Research Establishment established JTTRE, merging JTRU and Tropical Trials Establishment situated at Cowley Beach, Queensland. 1977 MRL, Woodville North transferred to CSIRO Division of Materials Science. 1978 WRE split into four smaller laboratories, Weapons Systems Research Laboratory, WSRL, Electronics Research Laboratory, EARL, Trials Research Laboratory, TRL, and Advanced Engineering Laboratory, AEL. The four laboratories were collectively known as the Defense Research Center Salisbury, DRCS. 1982 – The Armed Forces Food Science Establishment became a part of Materials Research Laboratories MRL. 1984 – RAN Research Laboratory transferred to WSRL. 1985 – Materials Research Laboratories, Alexandria, NSW transferred to Army. 1987 – Five-year restructuring of DSTO Laboratories begins. New Surveillance Research Laboratory created and WRE's Electronics Research Laboratory reorganized. RANRL transferred to MRL and renamed. 1989 Control of Cowley Beach was returned to the Army and Innisfail became MRL, QLD. 1992 The UK-Australia Tropical Research Agreement terminated. 
1991 WSRL abolished to leave four laboratories in DSTO. 1994 ARL and MRL merged to form the Aeronautical and Maritime Research Laboratory AMRL, headquartered in Fisherman's Bend. Surveillance Research Laboratory and Electronics Research Laboratory merged to form the Electronics and Surveillance Research Laboratory ESRL, headquartered in Salisbury, leaving only two laboratories in DSTO. 1994 – The Armed Forces Food Science Establishment was renamed the Defense Food Science Center DFSC. 1997 – ESRL Complex rationalised a new Knowledge Systems Building in Edinburgh, South Australia, the newly renamed part of Salisbury containing DSTO, officially opened. The Defense Food Science Center DFSC, was renamed Defense Nutrition Research Center DNRC. Port Wakefield Proof Range became the Proof and Experimental Establishment. 2002 DSTO restructured, resulting in three laboratories, Platforms Sciences Laboratory, Systems Sciences Laboratory and Information Sciences Laboratory. 2002 DSTO, along with the Royal Australian Air Force and the Canadian Forces, wins the prestigious ICAS von Karman Award for International Cooperation in Aeronautics for its international program assessing the fatigue life of the F.A-18A, B Hornet aircraft. 2003 Maritime Operational Analysis Center MOAC opened at Garden Island, Sydney 2004 H.A. Wills Structures and Materials Test Center officially opened at Fisherman's Bend. 2004 CBRN functions transferred from Maribyrnong to Fisherman's Bend. 2004 Torpedo Systems Center and Maritime Experimentation Laboratory opened at DSTO Edinburgh 2005 Laboratory Directors renamed to DCDS Deputy Chief Defense Scientist, Director, Platform Sciences Laboratory renamed DCDS Platforms and Human Systems, Director, Systems Sciences Laboratory renamed DCDS Policy and Programs, Director, Information Sciences Laboratory renamed DCDS Information and Weapon Systems and First Assistant Secretary, Science Policy renamed Chief, Science Planning and Coordination Division. Air Operations Division to report to DCDS Platforms and Human Systems. New standalone Information Integration Branch created in Edinburgh under DCDS Information and Weapon Systems .2006 DSTO and U.S. Air Force sign agreement on Hypersonic International Flight Research Experimentation HIFIRE program. 2007 DSTO Maribyrnong shut down in May with all personnel moved to a new facility within the existing DSTO Fisherman's Bend site. 2007 DSTO establishes Brisbane Laboratory to undertake hypersonics research. 2007 DSTO celebrates 100 years of defence science and technology in Australia 2007 personnel at DSTO Canberra Fern Hill Park moved to new facilities at Fairburn. 2008 DSTO Piermont commenced move to Evely. 2008 Professor Robert Clark appointed Chief Defense Scientist, the first external appointment to the post since 1991. 2009 DSTO and U.S. Air Force complete first successful launch under the Hypersonic International Flight Research Experimentation HIFIRE program, confirming that the test vehicle turned onto the correct heading and elevation for re-entry into the atmosphere as designed. 2010 DSTO organizes the Multi-Autonomous Ground Robotic International Challenge with U.S. Army. 2012 DSTO, along with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, Boeing Research and Technology and the University of Queensland, wins the prestigious ICAS von Karman Award for International Cooperation in Aeronautics for Collaboration on the Hypersonic International Flight Research Experimentation HIFIRE, program. 2012 – Dr. Alex Zielinski appointed Chief Defense Scientist in March 2012. 2015 – DSTO becomes DST Group. Topic. Sites DST has its headquarters at Fairburn in Canberra with sites in each state of Australia. 
South Australia, Edinburgh and Port Wakefield north of Adelaide. Victoria, Fisherman's Bend in Melbourne. New South Wales, Evely in Sydney. Queensland, Pullenvale in Brisbane, and Innisfail in North Queensland. Western Australia, HMAS Stirling at Rockingham, south of Perth. Tasmania, Scottsdale it also has a presence in the Russell offices in Canberra, in the Australian Capital Territory. Previous sites have included Fernhill Technology Park in Bruce, a suburb of Canberra Pyrmont, on the shore of Sydney Harbour Maribyrnong in Melbourne Topic Chief Defence Scientist The Chief Defence Scientist of Australia leads the Defence Science and Technology Group, DST Group. Dr. Alex Zielinski was the most recent Chief Defence Scientist, from March 2012 to November 2018. Following Zielinski's departure, the position is vacant with Dr. Todd Mansell acting in the role. Topic. Capability and Technology Demonstrator CTD program The Capability and Technology Demonstrator CTD program was established in 1997 to allow Australian industry to demonstrate new technologies or the novel use of technology with the potential to significantly enhance defence capability. The CTD program is managed by the Defence Science and Technology Group. DST Group and funded by the Capability Development Group. Each year Defence invites Australian industry to submit technology proposals aimed at advancing defence capability in areas of priority. Promising proposals are funded to develop the concept to the demonstration stage so that Defence can evaluate the technology's potential for military service and the risks of acquisition. A CTD project is demonstrated to a defense evaluation team after two to three years of funded development. Selected successful projects are identified for further development before they can be transitioned into fielded capability. CTD proposals are evaluated against a number of criteria including the potential to contribute to defense capability development, the potential to transition into service and the level of innovation in the proposed technology. Topic. DST Group Organizational Structure Following the launch of its five-year strategic plan 2013-18, DST Group streamlined its organizational structure to better reflect defense priorities and align with the 2013 Defense White Paper. The new structure came into effect from 1 July 2013 was endorsed by the Defense Committee. It provides three corporate divisions, Science Strategy and Program Division, Science Partnerships and Engagement Division and Research Services Division along with seven research divisions, Maritime Division, Land Division, Aerospace Division, Joint and Operations Analysis Division, National Security and Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Division, Cyber and Electronic Warfare Division, and Weapons and Combat Systems Division. Topic. See also NICTA National ICT Australia Australia's National Information and Communication Technology Research Centre CSIRO Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation The National Government Body for Scientific Research in Australia ANSTO Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation Australia's National Nuclear Organisation and the Centre of Australian Nuclear Expertise TTCP The Technical Cooperation Programme An international defence science and technology collaboration between Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the United Kingdom and the United States South Australian Aviation Museum, repository of DST Group's historic rocket collection from the period 1950-1980.